How's it going and welcome to the Try Time Podcast. Stay tuned for your weekly dose of rugby league chatter, discussing what's happening in the world of rugby league. Hello and welcome to episode two of the Try Time Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Callum. And on this week's episode, we're going to be looking at every Super League club and their transfer activity over the course of the off-season. Some clubs have recruited early and got all their squads prepared for 2020. Others might be looking for a bargain in the new year. But based on what we've got so far, who's recruited the best and who potentially could be facing a season at the drop? Yeah, and then in the second half, we're going to be doing a bit of trivia, just a bit of fun, a bit of light-hearted trivia. Our first half is a bit more serious, but we're just going to be going through as Matt says, judging everyone's transfer business. So I'll go over to Matt and he'll start us off. Now, I'm going to start this off with a little disclaimer. I have not learned off the top of my head every single transfer that's happened between clubs this year. So I will have to double check this. Sorry for reading off the phone for quite a bit of this first yeah, part. That's to the video, uh, the YouTube watchers, where obviously the audio is not really... Not yeah, really for all you on Spotify or Apple or whatever platform you're listening off, you don't even going to realise. No, no, you're not. Lucky things. <laughs> right, without that, we'll crack straight on into Castleford Tigers. So, I think the Tigers had a solid season last year. Pretty unspectacular yeah. compared to a couple of years ago. However, nice and stable now as a club in the yeah. top, in the sharp end of the table. Yeah. They have yeah. looked to strengthen this year. With George Griffin coming in from Salford, along with Daryl Olfertz. Grand final side last year. Good enough. Were they the second Su- best team? Perhaps not, but they made it. Super League quality winner, I would say. Def- Definitely. Uh, Tyler Heppy from Toulouse. Not a player I know too much I, about. I know quite a bit more about him. Definitely a good player. I think it will always come in that he'd be up in Super League. I think he deserves Ready to make the step up. I don't think he'll make a load. I don't think he'll be like a starter week in, week out, or even on the bench week in, week out. But I think when he gets to that point in season where... Easter period, especially where you need a deep squad, a good, big, strong player like that in pack is going to make such a difference, definitely. Uh, and the big two, really, that Castleford have pulled off is, I'm going to make a meal of sack, potentially pronouncing this one, Sosia Fecky from Canola. Great signing. I, would I think that's definitely. a very good pick-up. Yeah, I would say so, too, definitely. And I think that... Halfback hopes Jake Truman will be your partner alongside the new boy Danny Richardson. That's a young thoughts on young, this one. Young partnership. I mean, if they keep that partnership together going in for like the next three, four, five years, I think that can that can win the future them. England partnership. You think? Um, I don't know. I think Truman probably has got that that England pedigree, but I'm not sure on Richardson yet. But I mean, would you play Liam Sutcliffe? No, I won't play with Sutcliffe. No, I'd probably. I don't know really. I guess you don't know who, what's going to happen in the next. Like, who was England's halves in the well, Great Britain's halves? You had Widdop and Lomax. See, I think Lomax. If yeah. you're going to play Widdop and Lomax, whichever one goes full. But is Widdop going to really have much longer? I mean, that's true. We might cover in another episode. Actually, well, actually, later on today, in fact, what we think of Gareth Widdop signing to Warrington. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we will see we'll whether or not about that later, we but, think yeah. that's a good move later on. Yeah, but I definitely think I don't know. You know, you just don't know how players are going to progress. Like, a play, you wouldn't have thought Luke Gale would have been in England squad, but then when he was playing for, I remember when he was playing for Bradford, he was a good player at Bradford, and then he sort of career took off when he left Bradford and went to like Castleford, and Bradford then. Done all players. And now he's obviously on to like the back end of his career, so he's going to a struggling club in Leeds. To try Again, we'll come on to the deal <laughs> signing later on. Stop jumping the gun. In terms of who they have lost, I think Luke Gale is the only real player of note they've got rid of. Mitch Clark to Wigan might be felt a bit. Yeah, but I think that's where Hepi replaces Mitch Clark. I think that's a like similar sort of like for like player. I'd I agree would. with that one. Uh, Greg Minikin and Corey Aston probably the other two. I think around the first yeah, team. Yeah, yeah, But I think if you're going to replace Greg Minikin with Fecky... Upgrade. Upgrade, probably. Aston for Richardson, because we'll ignore Gale, considering he missed all of last season. An upgrade yeah, I again. Think Aston is a good, I think Aston is a good halfback, but I think he's... A, obviously, he's at uh, London now. He'll do well in the Championship. Yeah, oh, well, he has done for however long he's done well in the Championship. I think when he stepped up Super League, he did really well, though. So, I think... Yeah. I'm, su- I'm su- In a way, surprised he had signed for... Super League, a Super League team, although I think he's always going to be that player that's going to sign for like the. He's kind Super of in between the two. So, like, if London had stayed up, I still think he'd have signed for London yeah. and played there. But obviously, with Toronto going up, I 
could not say, I could like you wouldn't put him at Toronto. No, probably not. You'd say maybe they, KR, but they went and got Jamie Ellis. Yeah, who's it's probably that same level caliber player. player. Yeah, definitely. Again, we spoil this out. We'll come on yeah. to KR later. Yeah, well, it's just a discussion. Yeah. Castleford, what do you think overall? Grade them. Castleford. Uh, I I'm think really, it'd be. Are we going, are we going alphabetical? We B. Will. We're, not are doing, we going, we're not doing one to nine. Are we going um, B, like, are we doing plus or minus, or is it just, like, A We'll go B. for him. I'll go, give him a B plus, then. I'd say B plus. B plus. No overwhelming sort of signings, but, like, really solid players. Solid players. players. They'll be challenging next year, I think. I think they'll be in front for top five. Oh, definitely, yeah. Definitely. Okay, right, after we've next. managed to agree on the first one. Catalans are next and they've made some big moves also lost a few big players James Maloney I'd say one the, the highlight definitely one of the signings of the sort of he led the NRL last Josh year season. in missed tackles despite that yeah, I think Catalan but... have had a creativity problem this last year yeah, like the missed tackles in NRL I mean you could put any halfback Really, major eighty percent of the halfbacks in Super League in NRL and they probably miss that part. I'm looking forward to see what George Williams does. Let me put it that way. I think it's one of them where it's like, if you're judging a halfback by missed tackles, then you're looking for the wrong thing in the halfback. Yeah, definitely. It's just one of them things. It's I, like, it probably is a reason I wouldn't have taken him at Leeds as my first choice. Would you have gone? With, would, would I have taken him over Gale? Perhaps. So, would you but, have taken him over? Aiden Caesar. I know we're going to get onto that. I feel probably like. not. I don't think. I think this. James Maloney's got a, is a higher sort of profile player, but I yeah. think Aiden Caesar will rip it up in Super League. I think he'll be class. In terms of other recruits, Josh Drinkwater back at Catalan, solid signing. Solid player, yeah. Did practically kick them to the Challenge Cup the other year. Tom Davies from Wigan. I'd forgotten about this move. This actually. is a good, good signing. Yeah. Direct replacement for Jody Broughton, who's gone to Halifax. Younger, electric pace. I think that's an upgrade. Yeah, definitely. That's a good signing. Um, the next two coming from Toulouse. This is another name I'm going to butcher. Gavin Marguerite. Marguerite, quality player. And Jordan Desaria. I know them both, but I'm not. Marguerite is a player. Is an absolute. Mo- but Brad, I know. I don't want to go on about Bradford, but Bradford Warren for him obviously is not coming. Bradford. Yeah, one of the bits of feedback we got granted from a Rhinos fan in his family was we spoke too much about Bradford. Yeah, so we so are we, gonna. I'm gonna put him on a Bradford cu- band in cu- a few minutes. Yeah, we're cutting that off. But I'm yeah. just saying, really good playing championship. I'm surprised you haven't seen him play for France. I mean, I don't really we watch France have. because no, I don't no. watch second tier rugby no. like you do. But <laughs> did you not watch Nine's World Cup? No, it was on far too early for me to oh, be out of yeah, bed. Oh, yeah, yeah, we were this posh boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah really good player. I know a lot Why of you, would have, I I know a lot of you listeners time. will know who he is, so, yeah, good sign. Fair enough. Um, major loss, probably Kenny Edwards, and surprisingly, Tony Gigo being released. I'm very yeah. shocked at this. I thought they'd have kept him. A lot of controversy around him, though. They He's a very questionable it. character, but... Likeable to sort of like Isaac Hardy, he can win you a game, but then he can off. He's off. I think I'd say more Sam game. Tompkins. I think Sam, because I, I think he's think... actually quite a likable person off of the pitch. Yeah. The same way that Tompkins pulls off some quite classy gestures at times, particularly with this is very topical at the time of recording his auction off of his England Nines World Cup jersey. Oh yeah, for, for the, the Rob Burrow Motor Neuron Fund. We're recording this about two days after yeah, the after news of this that, broke. After it's all come out, yeah. So we won't dwell on that because it's not probably not the right note for this podcast. No, no, no. We've put us stuff on social media about what I am going to say while we are here, January the 12th, Emerald Headingley, Leeds versus Bradford, half of the proceeds from the Rhino side of gate receipts and all of Bradford's are yeah. going to the fund. If you can get down... We'll be there, won't we? We'll so. be there. If you can get down, go. If not, and you've got the spare ticket price, why not put it in the donation fund anyway? Yeah, right. Definitely. Enough of fo- going on about that one. Greg Bird obviously retired too. Overall, Catalans, I'd say they're a solid B. 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 James will only bump. Can we stop B agreeing on these? No, I think they have genuinely I improved. Say, I was going to say B minus, but I think B. James will only. He just likes to copy me. Oh yeah, definitely. Right, what's next? Huddersfield. Huddersfield. You've already mentioned Aiden, Aiden Caesar. That's going to be a name I struggle to get out all year. I can just Aiden tell that Caesar. one. Big signing. Good. Big signing. Up there with Maloney. Like we were saying, up there with Maloney. Kenny Edwards we've just touched on. Again, big player. Yeah. 
and Ash Golding. Thoughts on that one? Ash Golding. Good signing, I'd say. I yeah. think he just hasn't been given his chance. I think good on, good on him. Signing I think he did deal. the right thing to leave Leeds. I don't Definitely. think he was going to get the opportunities to further yeah. his career. At Huddersfield, I think he'll get opportunities. I think he's been unfairly treated. Definitely. I think Walker's younger, maybe... It's difficult because if I'm if I'm talking on an attacking side, I think I want Golding. Yeah. Because I think his distribution's a lot better. I think he's a good is he good sort of like fullback that can facilitate. Whereas Jack uh, Jack Walker's I think is like yeah. If he if he catches it at fullback, you're yeah. thinking he could go full of the pitch here against. I mean, you say that I've seen him do it once, and it was against Doncaster. Yeah, but I, and actually finish I think he it has off. got more of that threat than Gordon. But I think Gordon's yeah. a good, consistent, well-rounded player that probably is Super League quality. Definitely, definitely. did the right thing going to a Super League club rather than a Championship side. It was doing like Huddersfield as well. who were a bit like they're not a ha- like Leeds is a big market. To, like always on telly, he's going to a team like Huddersfield where he might find it radar for a season but he's going to improve his game he's yeah. going to get constant playing time and he's going to be like he's not going to be under as much media scrutiny yeah, which I, I think, think it's you've, a good got to, you've got to take that into account I think especially right, in well, terms of their other big NRL James Gavet Gavet however we pronounce Gavet, it that one yeah. I'd say Gavet but yeah good player solid solid acquisition another one from NRL but you don't know how they're going to sort of no I mean we touched a bit on the championship kits Little video going on the YouTube channel. Be sure to check that out if you haven't yet. Yeah, yeah. I've got one prepped on some of the most underwhelming transfers, and there are a fair few NRL to Super League recruits yeah, in there. Yeah, definitely, yeah. And surprisingly, when you actually do the research for that, there's very few overhyped Super League to Super League transfers, or even Championship to Super League. Yeah, a lot of it is the NRL. A lot of it is the NRL and its reputation, so there will be a big weight on his shoulders to perform. Yeah, I think I think they'll do well, very well. I think they always somehow manage just in mid-season. Start of season, they might look a bit rope, and mid-season, the string will get together well, a few results, and then they're safe. Yeah, last year, we tipped them as favourites to go down, actually, ahead of Yeah, London. we did, yeah. And to be fair, it wasn't a bad prediction they won't the way even, things they played won't, out. They won't... I don't think they were. I think there were teams like Wakefield who were you probably wouldn't have expected to do in. Wakefield imploded worse, but I think as well. Owen Trout's joined youngster from Leeds in return for They've got probably their biggest departure. Cruz Leeming, that's a big yeah, loss to them is, at Hooker. That is definitely is I think really good. And Who's got, a natural replacement to well, him in got, that squad? They've got Adam O'Brien, who oh, I don't want to say he used to play for Bradford, but he did used to play for Bradford. So I, whenever you watch Huddersfield, I watch it. You watch him because like, oh, he used to play for Bradford, and he's a good Hooker. And I, I know that. To be fair, Huddersfield, Hooker are the new Huddersfield, just signing up every player from Bradford. No, well, Hull, yeah, Hull, yeah, that is true actually. Because <laughs> when we got, when we didn't win the million pound game, Huddersfield did sign. He's still crying about that, by the yeah. way. Well, how things could have been different, right? Anyway, come on. Keep... Yeah, they've lost Leeming, they've lost Meller, Sebastian Ikiafifa to Salford. I, I didn't actually realise that had happened until I'd. Until you researched, yeah. I'd seen about it. I, I kind of now I know about it loss. again. That's I remember a big seeing loss. it, but big loss. He's just a good, he's just a good prop who is consistent and he's. It's one of them where it's like he does the sort of the basics so well. Yeah. He's not going to be one of them that's like putting on massive things. Like say like a Luke Thompson, Alex Warms, if I say it. He's one of them where it's like, if you know like the Super He'll League, your fantasy, your fantasy like Super yeah. League team, he's always going to be like one of, one of the best players to have in that. I mean, I've not done that everything. for four years. No, but, but yeah. I know that he always is in the, and you know, with the team of the players with the yeah. best points, he's always in and He's always on there. Yeah. And obviously Matt Frawley to Canberra. I wouldn't. I, when I saw he's him a, last year, I didn't scream NRL quality. But I think he's one of them. He just hasn't worked in Super League, and I think Caesar is a good replacement for yeah. him. So I think that that's one of them where I think we worked it, well too much on the outgoings, particularly when it's not to another Super League club. Like Ikafio is going to Salford. So when we get Salford, we're going to speak. About yeah, him again. We'll speak, so that, I mean, we I mean. won't go into too much on him because we've covered him now. Yeah. Overall, Huddersfield. It's a strong recruitment, but I think they've also lost a fair bit of quality and haven't necessarily replaced those key positions. Yeah. I yeah. think I'm going to give them a... It's tough between a C plus and a B minus. I think I'm going to go C plus just to I'll, vary it up. B minus. And he goes for the one good. that I didn't go for. No, I'm going B minus, so I was thinking 
it is really like Aiden sees it. Some NRL quality players in, but them outgoings are big outgoings. They are so big. they haven't progressed. Perhaps. They maybe took three steps forward, two steps back. So they're really. They've yeah. all, they've I think they've gone sideways. Yeah, the fact that this new path maybe has a bit more potential and long term success. They've got some good young players coming through with a sign from but various. Immediately. Is mid table not... team, mid table team. But we're, we're going yeah, to do, we'll do predictions year, nearer to the season. New once. year, we'll have a full podcast based on predictions. Yeah. We're going in depth. We'll do that everything. before round one. Yeah, yeah. On to Hull FC. Now, they've actually rec- recruited quite a few big NRL players, and I think they needed to. Yeah. I'll start with the outgoings this time for Hull, just so we realise quite what a mammoth task they've had. Sika Manu's retired, Mark Minicello's hung up his boots, Mickey Payer, who I'd actually forgotten even played there. They've lost Chris Green to Wakefield. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce this right. Levi Nzongu? Nzongu, yeah. He's been released. Danny Washbrook's Levi gone. Levi Nzongu, Sam for Bradford. <laughs> Right, that's it. We're banned from talking about <laughs> this episode. I'm just saying, you got to include who he signed. And the man who put his own kneecap back in Joe Westerman. They've lost all it. He's gone to work. So field. they've lost the whole pack. So they need they've an lost, entire team. Because C. Kamanu and Matt Minicello started at second row must, must have been pretty much every single game. They were always a consistent. I'd argue if we were, at Lou, we've not done at a 10 year challenge on this and we've not currently got one set. But if we do a team of the decade. For their longevity in Super League, they'd have to be at least in the discussion. In the discussion, yeah. Especially, like, just the service they've given to Hull. It's, it's all... But they've, I think we're going to go on to, like, the ingoings. They've definitely done... Given it a good go. They've given the it a good go. Mahe Fanua's back for another stint at the KCOM. Good winger. Good explosive. winger. Didn't really... In an RL, I don't think... I think he suits the Super League. This yeah. second stint hasn't worked as well as his first. Yeah, definitely. But, you know, I think he's back in Super League. Manu Mao, Parramatta, big Very player. Replacement essentially for Seeker Manu. Both t- I both think this could go one Tom. of two ways. And I know we say this a lot about big NRL players. It's either going to be fantastic signing or it's going to be a terrible, terrible flop. I think it's going to be similar to almost Seeker. I mean, him and Seeker Manu, they are the Tong- they're Tonga in the second rows in the World Cup. They were the Tonga second rowers I think they're almost similar sort of players yeah Manu Mars just a bit more younger a bit refreshed and I, mean, he's, I don't and think he's that much he's, is he 31 he's not that much younger but he's like Sika Manu who's retired as you yeah. say he's, he's going to give him a good couple of years service yeah. and I think he, there's I think going to be some be the big hits big hits um, I think there's going to be a few fights <laughs> I think he's one of the they've players. not signed Ryan Bailey calm down well Tonga and Ryan Bailey <laughs> calling it now <laughs> right in terms of who else they've got We'll touch on these a bit quicker. Adam Swift from St. Helens. He definitely needed to leave. Yeah. New challenge for him. Josh yeah. Jones from Salford. Great signing. Solid second See, rower off centre. They've swapped the second rowers now. Josh Jones and Manu Mar. There's a lot. They've replaced for well. him. That's an upgrade well. on Minicello for me. For the year. Minicello in his prime. Great NRL. Definitely. Like NRL standard player. Yeah. But I think, you know, you got to look at now getting older and stuff like that. Uh, Tavita Satai, New Zealand. Again, Again, big NRL Don't know player. too much on him. But I've not seen much of him, but he's going to come with a reputation purely from being good. from Auckland. Yeah. And then Lee, Lee Sow, also from New Zealand, his old teammate <laughs> linking up again. Oh, Can't say I know this name. Oh, God. I think there are them players where you're just you're going to see... If, you'll remember the name if they make an impact. Do you or know even mean? if they're just terrible. Yeah, oh, yeah. There's if always all right, that. Hopefully just... they'll be a success. I don't wish any of them a bad time. Yeah. And then finally, Jordan Johnson and Joe Cater coming up from the championship, Witness and Lee, respectively. Good signing. Good young. Again, what I'm on about the depth, when I was talking about the depth thing, that's a big thing. Yeah. Um, especially like Easter period, you're going to need your depth. You're going to need that, yeah. Them players, I've seen him in Championship. I'm sure you've even seen Johnston when he played for Witness in Super League. He's just a good... He's, he looks about 40, but he's... He'll he's do a job. He's going to do a job, whether it's off bench, sporadically in and out at first team, but he'll be good. Now, as true tradition, we need to recharge the batteries, so we will be back... We're taking a break. ...after a quick cut scene that he will edit in. To well, cover Hull KR and the rest of yeah. Super League. Be right back. Five minutes later. Okay, welcome back to part two. We have 
check the batteries are still charged. Managed to make sure we can get an episode out without dying halfway yeah, through. We're gonna be and fine. we forgot to grade Hull FC, which is a really good end to part one. So Plus. I think I'll give them a B minus. Good effort, but a lot of unproven players in there B. could go catastrophically wrong. B. I'm going to say just, just be just any be. context just be. just be just um, be just be good signings but I think we'd go up to maybe like an A minus but the players have let go oh that have retired there is yeah. there's a lot of quality gone leaving. and then it's been replaced fairly well which I'm giving them a B I'm glad we did the break before Hull KR because they have signed an absolute ton of players and a lot of them I'll be able to comment on <laughs> from the unnamed club that we have banned <laughs> For the rest of us. I'm going to go through them all now. Well, I'm going to go by through one all. Just say them quickly. I feel like there's too many. For Jordan Abdul. Good signing. Qu- good addition. Jez Litton. Good signing. Dean Hadley. Good signing. Anyone that's not at this point? No, to be fair, I don't know why I keep saying good signing. Cause they're all everyone. Our friend that shared the podcast for us last week. Big thank you to Ethan Ryan. Quality signing. Great. No, too It's fair. only fitting that we shall have a whole KR player share the podcast. And what does he spend all of episode one doing? Slagging off whole KR. It is what it is. At it? least I only is offended Brad- Richie Miles. He's a Bradford lad anyway. So. Still plays. <laughs> Speaking of players that have joined from Bradford, I don't think he's going to be the last of those. Uh, Manny G, London. Good signing. Interesting. They just signed a lot of players who are just good at them. They signed they? a lot of players though that are in that very borderline quality between Championship and yeah. Super League. Yeah. Yeah. Unproven in Super League. And as soon as I say that, I look at the next name, Sean Kenny Dowell. <laughs> Quality, that's a great signing, I think. I think this could go down as one of the biggest flops of the season. It could be. It could go His either way. His injury record the last couple of years is... It makes Ryan Hall look like the fittest player in Super League. <laughs> look how many games he played last year. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you say. It's Stevie Ward levels of treatment <laughs> table. If he stays fit, he could terrorise Super League. Or he could be like Manu Vatavai and basically fail to score anything. Yeah. yeah. In you fact, he's a player that could be in contention for our underwhelming transfers list. Yeah, right. but I think that would be because of how old, like... I he was in the twilight of his career, yeah. yeah. I like Sean Kenny Dowell, really. Yeah. There's so quite a lot of comparisons there. yeah. yeah. Um, Kyle Trout from Dewsbury. Good signing. Could, I definitely could see him st- stepping up from Championship Super League. One of the better players in that Dewsbury team. They'll be good to lose Probably the him. best player by far. Harvey Levette. Good signing. I hate that guy. He always scores against Leeds. Usually about four as well. <laughs> good player. I'm surprised we weren't going to let him go because he's quite a... I wish they hadn't done it. He'd probably been on bench and we wouldn't have as much time to put four over our try line this year. Yeah. <sighs> Never mind. Greg Minikin. Good sign. Solid pickup. We've got two. There's a sign so many Matt players. Parcel, officially Good now sign. after his loan last season. Good signing. Good yeah. signing. Definitely provide a bit more energy. Yeah. Elliot Minchella. Quality signing. I'm already fed up of reading no, names for whole no, KR now. No, but Elliot Minchella, I just want to say, I've seen him obviously at Bradford for a couple of years and he is, he is super really? quality. Really? I didn't know he watched Bradford. He is, he is super league quality. By far. And he will tear it up. I think he'll tear it up. Trust me. Yeah, I think Hold me to I it. Hold me to right. it. He's Brad- he was Bradford's best player for the last two years. He start. will be ready to make the step up in Super League. Whether or not he'll we're tear gonna, it up might go- depend on who's around him more than anything else. We're going to miss him so like, much. We're going to miss him so much. Like, we're going to miss him a lot. Quality player. So go on. Who's next? Have we'll you finished crying over yeah. the loss of your player now? Yeah, go on. Good. Ryan Braley. Good signing. Is he Super League quality? This is his third bite at the cherry now. Toronto have let him go the second they've got to Super League. Lee let him go when they didn't make it. Huddersfield didn't really his face didn't fit. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I think they just signed so many players in so many positions. Just... Jamie Ellis. Again, how many halfbacks do they actually need? I mean, I know you lost <laughs> Danny Maguire. But... They've signed three halfbacks. Yeah, and like, I know back it's not like the days when you you know you had Maguire and Drinkwater. They've both gone. You had, obviously, Campesi and Kelly a while ago, but 
the quality just seems to be declining a little bit now. Like, no disrespect to Jamie Ellis Ab- and Abdul, Jordan Abdul, Abdul Ellis. and Ryan Braley and Abdul. anyone else that they might have signed. But Rowan Milt from Bradford, who's in our fault, but they've loaned him back to us. I so mean, sorry. again, got him for season. he's not there for the season. And also, I I know of the name. I've never... Yeah, what, yeah. Did he play against Leeds? He probably did. I he just, did. I he, told Leeds a fa- he did play against Leeds, he did. And he played against Halifax, he... I'm I think I stopped around. watching that game about halfway through <laughs> the second half when I realised yeah. that we were really that bad. But and if, all the time, I don't know how I bypass. Go on, I'll let you get to the name. I mean, I'll just go over the last three quickly: Matthew Stoughton, Nick Rawson from Toronto, and the last of the Bradford contingent, Anesu. No, you missed people. Where's Joe Keys? You've got an old, you've got a dodgy list, mate, because Joe Keys. Oh, I have missed Joe Keys out. He's, he's there. <laughs> and he's a halfback as well, and he's oh, actually a starting not level. Not another half-back. half-back. He's a starting level half. Like, he starts with, him and Lily were our partnership, but when Keys were injured, we had Mill starting because he's younger. So you, How many halfbacks does this one that's team what I'm need? Saying, that's what I'm saying. They've got four halfbacks who I would say are borderline super league quality. But the thing is, there's no one there that you look at and think they all, they're, they're, they're going to com- propel whole K out to the next have, level. They're going to have competition for places. Because I think Abdul probably starts. At least Abdul Abdul, starts. I'm not sure on Ellis, to be honest. I think his goal kicking's good. Who, who wants to run off? Got you see, the thing is, that's another <laughs> point. Hull KR's goal kicker, they've lost Ryan Shaw to Yorkshire Carnegie, who I think should have really been kept on. Yeah, yeah. I thought he were a decent player. Where's that kicking coming from now, if yeah, it's not true. going to be one of the halves? Ryan Briley? Oh, do you leave right. him on the bench? Ryan Briley. He doesn't I mean, seem oh, like the sort half. of player that you recruit just to put on the bench. On the nose of it, look at, five look at, looking at the half backs um, that they're probably going to play, is probably going to be Briley and Abdul, I would imagine, at the start of the season. But I think, You'd assume so. Maybe then, Jamie Ellis on the bench to and have one of those cover hooker if Parcel needs to go off because he's a 60 minute hooker he can do yeah, the like I think with Keyes Keyes I wouldn't say he's a, I think Jamie Ellis could play hooker but I don't think Keyes I don't think could. Keyes is going to be Keyes is, a, Keyes is a half but that maybe that depth thing I think maybe. he'll get a game or two he'll get a game or two definitely but I and think, you don't need to worry about halves as much over the Easter period because typically they don't quite wear out as forwards, much as it? hookers it's, and props and like you say the general forward yeah, line yeah, definitely in terms of Hull, who, who Hull care, I have lost Danny Addy, who, as he will be very quick to tell me, used to play for Bradford. So did half of these people. Josh Drinkwater, as he touched earlier, gone back to Catalan. Danny Maguire's called it a day. Joe Tompkins, I think we missed him at Catalan's. I don't think we mentioned him. No, we didn't. You didn't mention him. I don't think that's a good signing. Could have gone to play with his brother. I don't think it affects I my think, grade for it. No, I don't, but I think it's a very poor sign in that bit from Catalan. I think he's all right. He just does job in Super League. Man. Does he, though? Because I'm not uh, sure he's Super League quality anymore. Uh, he's all right. I think Hulkia might right, have done a good thing We've been on, on Hulkia forever. Ryan Lannan, Tommy Lee's gone, Will Oakes, nobody else really. Oh, James Greenwood. He's the only other player of no. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay, I great. You yeah. signed too many halfbacks. There's not really anyone that's that super Where are they getting the money from? That's all. without Sean Kenny Dowell is probably a D minus at this point. You reckon? That's For taking bad. that pun, I'll give him a D plus. D plus. Wow, I'm gonna say B minus. D. I will plus B minus when they've invested in the future. Okay, for me, our favourites for the drop this season. I mean, based on I mean, current signings I probably, and I do I think they could have done a lot more with the amount of money and cap they'll have spent on those players to try yeah. and keep them in Super League who's the full back are we going Quinlan again for the season oh, yeah, why did you I mean he'll carry that bar into it he can't even be bothered to stay away I can't what well, 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 what's the next team Let's I'm getting bored I mean I'm, I'm happy to move on it's Leeds uh, right I'm going to go F minus in terms Leeds. of who we've got I think Leeds are one of the teams that are definitely going to be bringing in some more players come the new year. Yeah, go on. What's your signings? Cruz Leeming, England Knights hooker. Him and Brad Dwyer are going to be a great pair. One of the best pairs. I mean, I didn't want to say that, but you've heard it here from a Bradford fan. One of the best pairs. One of the best pairs in Super League going into next season. Alex Meller, good second rower. Definitely a good replacement for Jamie Jones Buchanan. Good player, watched him play for Bradford. Is he a JJB in his prime? Perhaps not, but 
good player. This and he's only young Jamie well. Jones. He's, only he's got a big, big future running. ahead of him. Um, Luke Gale. Risky one. If he he's stays gonna fit, job, he's going to do you a job. If he it? stays fit, he should be good. Yeah. He'll provide that organisation that, granted, Rob Louie has improved a lot. Yeah, but is is Louis and Gale is a decent half. He's the seven that you need for someone like Louis, who is yeah. an extravagant six. Definitely. That's what I said. That's a good sign, is that one? And Matt Pryor, I'm happy with that. You know, I think we'll get a couple of years out of him. I'll see how he plays. You don't know. There is a f- danger. It's Keith Galloway all over. It's again. one of the things where it's like you don't know how it's going to translate. I think it's hard to predict these, but I think on the you don't, but the face of it, it looks like it could be a really good sign. I think it's going to be better than Galloway. I'm quite optimistic about this one. In terms of who we've let go, obviously we've lost Jamie Jones, Carl Ablett this year, both of them hanging up the boots. Ferris has gone to Featherstone, which is what it is. I don't want to say it's a blessing because he did have some good performances as far as and he was one of our players, but I think the right decision was made yeah, yeah. renewing his contract. We touched on Golden leaving earlier, Parcel's gone on a permanent. Singleton, Toronto, we'll cover him in more detail once we get down yeah, to the yeah, wall path. Definitely. Sean Lunt moving to Batley. Big move for them, that. Good good signing for Batley. Good player for that level. Then probably the big ones, Trent Merrin. The captain towards the end of last season. Yeah. I think he wanted to go, and I think given the circumstances, we did the right thing in letting him leave. Yeah, definitely, I'd agree with that. Agree. Will we miss him? I think if we don't get anyone else in, yes. It's one of them, innit? It's like. Do I think he was worth marquee player money? Perhaps not. No, nah, probably. But then I didn't see him as a problem area either. No, nah, he did his job, didn't he? Definitely Let's not. see who we get on that one. And obviously, Nathaniel Peter is being released as well, early from his yeah, contract. Yeah, that's why I think you'll sign a few more players, so I think we've, you need to bolster that pack. We've got that. one more on the overseas quota, subject to Reese Martin getting his PNG passport, which we think is more a case of when and not if. Yeah. So, expect another two, one or two players in. And actually, this is one of the reasons we're not doing the predicted table now, because Leeds are one of the clubs, I think, that will be still active. Yeah, definitely. Moving on to our grand final losers last time round, Salford. They've got some big shoes to fill to try and keep up this momentum. Yeah. Chris Atkin joins from Hull KR. Oh, we've not graded Leeds. No, we haven't. I mean, you have, but... No, nah, I'd say C. C. I think B- minus at the moment. I think the players we've brought in are good. Certainly... Mellor, Leeming, Gale will do a job. Yeah. I think in order to get any higher, we're going to need some more for new faces in. New big forwards, probably. The forward line is my worry. Yeah, definitely. And also Tom Briscoe, but I don't think he's going anywhere. <laughs> That's so, him not a guess. You, got, you can't be saying this about I him. like Briscoe. I think he was a very good player, but I think we need more competition because his form at times the past couple of years has been questionable. Anyway, he's bored yeah. of Leeds, so Salford. No, I'm not bored, I'm just tired, sorry. Kevin Brown. That worries me as a replacement <laughs> for Jackson Hastings or Rob Lewis. If your halves are Kevin Brown and Tui Lollahaya, for me, that's a problem. Yeah, or Chris Atkin, though, I guess. I guess Brown's in there more for Baku. For me, Lollahaya only did okay at Salford because of Hastings. Could he be. allowed him that freedom. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think Brown does that. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see. I think that's potentially an issue. James Greenwood. Good sign. Solid player. Paulie Paulie from Wakefield. Big fella, hasn't really kicked on yet. No, but I think he could for the right team. I expected more. Yeah, definitely. But I think we could could see more. Hopefully. Dan Sarginson from Wigan. Do a job. Good quality centre, I think. There's a reason yeah. he did get a chance in the NRL. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It didn't work out, but that's not necessarily... He's a good, super league quality player. Definitely. Connor Jones, Featherstone. Jack Armandroyd, Featherstone. Good place. Armandroyd's a big lad. Ready for that step up, definitely. I think he's one that Leeds got rid of too soon. Yeah, they could probably do with him now, to be fair. They probably could, yeah. It's Kyle Amor all over again. And Connor, Connor Jones is... Someone Just, I've not he, really heard I've of. seen him for fair, but he's a good up and coming up. Probably won't get too much game time, maybe a bit off at bench, but 
again, depth, young depth is what. Yeah, what everyone we talked seems about Ikea FIFA, we won't mention him again. Yeah, here. Ryan Lannan, he's an okay player. Just a super league player, isn't he? Not yeah. Just does the job. And then the trio from London, Luke Yates, Reese Williams, and Elliot Kia. Great. Who, where have we seen Elliot Kia before? Bradford. No, but on a hey. serious note, I think you're going to keep Kia, Will, Kia, Reese Williams. That is a partnership that's been going on for Wales and London yeah. for years. Absolute donkey. Like it works in Super League, it works in Championship. It'll work again for Salford. I but think are they Salford players? But in constant, this is now a grand final team. <sighs> I and don't you know. look at what they've lost. We'll go into some of their yeah, outfits. Jake Bibby. I don't think he was ever spectacular, I think but he was certainly never a problem. Reese Williams is the like for like, I answer. As a centre? Did Bibby play centre? No, put Bibby, Bibby centre and Inu on the wing. Which is to me the wrong way around. As he knew, left, he knew outgoing as well. I think he knew stayed on. Yeah, he has. They've lost Al- Alfred. So they've lost George Griffin. They've lost Alfred. They've lost Josh Jones. They lost Dan Murray, who is another player that's somehow stuck to Hull KR without us even realising. Yeah. <laughs> How many have they got? <laughs> Logan Tompkins has gone. I think that one's maybe a bit less of a loss, I'll be honest. Yeah. But then equally, I don't see a brilliant hooker in there to replace him well Connor Jones I guess he's a hooker but he's like is he super league quality now though no no but I guess it's one of them things in it like you and then see. obviously the big one Jackson Hastings to Wigan we'll touch him big loss I think at Wigan so but are we going to grade him though do you reckon? I think it's time to grade I'm going to say D minus you think the worst one so far I don't think I think it's because of the turnover Jackson Hastings and Man of Steel they've lost the Man of Steel to a Content, another contender, and they've sat. They haven't replaced him. They have though. I just don't think they've replaced him well. Chris Atkin, Kevin Brown. Kevin Brown. It's not Jackson Hastings. I think it's. Like, I think it's level. Okay, I, I, I think it's a. I think it's a D plus. All right, well, I'm going. To, did I say D minus? You said D, but you can change. No, nah, I want to. I wanted to. If I go a bit higher, so I'll stick. I'll keep it a D. This is where right, we're playing on. back, and you actually. This is actually. This is taking ages. We are rumbling on here. We are a bit, but Saint Helens now, the league leaders. Probably the last one we're going to get in before we have to. We're going to have a look. Have another break. This is taking. Ins. They've not signed anyone. This might be quite quick, actually. Yeah. Who've they lost? Liam Cooper, Adam Swift, Luke Douglas, Ryan Morgan, Danny Richardson. No one who really played for I them think in the this mid-team. is ungradable at this point because yeah. there's just nothing to judge. Yeah, yeah. The loss of Richardson is potentially quite big. In terms of backup, but they've always. I think, but they've not. They they've wonders, always got them young players coming through us. And they, they, I think they always. They haven't. There's not, probably someone else already there because he wasn't a week in, week out play, starter last they had season. Farge, Farge stepped up last season. Farge, that's. Farge, Lomax, Farge, Lomax, Lomax and, Coo- and Lachlan Coo at the back. Yeah, it worked. I think that's fine. Yeah. Definitely, I agree. Right. I think we don't even need to grade St. Helens. I think Helens. we're going to move on quickly to the last two, is it? Um, we've still got three to go. I think we've got... Oh, Toronto. Oh, oh we've got thing. four to go. Wakefield, Warrington, we oh, to Toronto. I forgot, I forgot Wakefield. But... Right. We will have our second quick break and... Then we'll do the last we four. We'll be back for the last four. Then we're going on some trivia. Sorry, it's taking ages. But... This is going to be quite a long one. I hope you're enjoying this. You'll if it. not, you'll have probably turned off by now anyway. So, <laughs> see you in a few minutes. Five minutes later. And welcome back for the third and final part of Super League recruitment. How have they all done? We'll probably have a much snappier title than that. But yeah, definitely. We'll fix it. Toronto Wolfpack, right, Toronto. the new boys. Sonny Bill is the name that's obviously going to dominate this discussion. Yeah. That, good that's use good of the problem. money or... I'd say good use. Just for the off-the-field stuff as well that it brings, like yeah. the promotion. Off the field, worth every penny definitely. on the field. Definitely an overpayment for what you're going to get. But I think, we we don't know. I mean, in Super League, I think he could tear it up, to be honest. I think against certain teams. I think he'll do well. I don't think he's going to comfortably be like Dream Team, best second rower. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like some are already saying, this isn't the player that was in his prime in the NRL. Yeah, definitely. But it's definitely the sort of high-profile signing that Toronto probably needed to justify to some people why... Or rather, yeah. what they are bringing to the competition. Yeah, yeah, definitely. In terms of other players, they've got in Brad Singleton. Solid Super League Super League experience. Probably hasn't really kicked on the way he looked to two or three years ago, but that's probably not all 
got down to his got, lack of development, but also a lot of other problems at Leeds. Got good like grand final winning pedigree as well. Yeah, will potentially be a bit more of that steel with his occasional hot headedness. Yeah, I think he's just a good good prop and a good sort of like super. He'll do a level. job. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be a bad signing. And James Cunningham from London. Good signing. Solid player. Good. He's proved last year, especially that he's a good, is solid, super league quality player. In terms of the outgoing, Bob Bezic to Newcastle. I don't really think nah, that's, that's a lot not anymore. Especially not with Cunningham, Cunningham coming in as well to a player. Yeah, play, I think that's to play an that upgrade. Pro- yeah, good it. servant to Toronto. Right time From to the move start, on. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, Nick Ross on with touch on going to Hull KR. Yeah, it is, with it? They're not going to miss him too much, I don't think. I know. I think the biggest one is going to be the retirement of Ashton Sims. Yeah, because he's just a big sort He's of, their leader. Yeah, definitely. And that's, I think, what Sonny Bill's going to really have to step up and do. Yeah. And that's going to be his toughest mould to fill and probably the one that will define whether he's a success, a success or not. on the yeah, pitch yeah. or not. Definitely. I agree with you. In terms of grading them, then? I think I've got to go with, like, a B. I think B plus. But I, think I also think the there's, a lot of, there's a lot of things. I think there's a lot of people. I think there's a a I think there's chance, more to come in more at Toronto. Course, that's what I'm trying to say, yeah. I think there needs to be. Yeah. Because I don't think they've recruited in... I think the squad as it is at the moment will be a... It'll, we are in this to have a good go at surviving and we'll probably make it to next year. Yeah. I don't think this is a... We're going to be comfortably ahead of the relegation scrap. And we're going to be in the playoff to, sort of thing, yeah. And looking to stabilise for a playoff run next year. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of work to do, but I think they're potentially... They've got it, the they had there enough to, to keep them yeah, definitely. out of immediate danger anyway. Yeah. Right, who's next? Wakefield next. Ryan Atkins, probably the headline signing, returning to Trinity. As long as Good he doesn't try and dive for the corner with the acrobatics, <laughs> I think he might do a solid job. Yeah, I'd agree. Um, Alex Walker from London, solid fullback. Yeah. Really good fullback, yeah, good sign. Chris Green from Hull FC. Good sign, yeah. Decent player. Josh Wood from Salford. Joe Westerman, Hull yeah. FC. Just solid players, I think that's super, super league quality. quality. Yeah. There's, you'd like to think this is probably trying to prevent them from imploding like last year. Yeah, yeah. And lastly, Jay Pitts from London. Then Again. Leeds rejects himself. He's played for well, he played for Bradford as well. Leeds, yeah, I think Bradford. that's where we spat him out to one. Yeah, but he's 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 a good solid Super League standard, I'd say. For London last year, definitely. He, yeah, he didn't let London down, and I think that's probably what you're going to get. He's, it reminds me a lot of Ian Kirk. He's never going to be that spectacular player. But he's always going to do the job. But equally, he's probably not going to be the player that. <laughs> well done for the for those of you not on YouTube, my. Co-host has just decided. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to knock my microphone over. I'm good. I'm fine. This is probably affected. Um, how, right. I think we're good. We're good. We're good. You're good. We're good. Right. Continue. Okay. <laughs> In terms of who we've lost, then Chris Anakin, Anthony England's been released. Anthony England. So when these players sign for Bradford, you don't have to say they've been released. You know, Anthony England signed for Bradford. <laughs> Is that what he says on the website? Is that how bad Bradford is now? We don't even have a club anyway. Yeah. Uh, no, to be fair, it's probably before and not... Yeah, up- it probably is, you're right. Like, and also, it's probably not significant enough to worth updating. Yeah, true. But anyway, Keegan Hurst, Halifax. Good sign. Well, Whoever the, the hell Halifax. Luke Hooley is, I've never Luke heard Hooley. of him. He, on Jew- he played a lot at Dewsbury. Ah, oh, right. On, so. like, Dewsbury. Um, oh, where's he gone? He's gone to Batley. Uh, and Paulie Paulie to Salford's probably the only other big one yeah, there. Yeah, I'd say I think we just grade him now, I think. Yeah, I think so. B. C plus. Fair play. I think he's a lot steady in the ship rather than any actual yeah, improvements you know, I think, there. Yeah, yeah, I'd agree. And I think on this occasion, the squad being one year older is probably not a good thing. Yeah. Because it wasn't the youngest squad to start with. Yeah. Moving on to Warrington and Wigan now, the last two. Yeah. Warrington have been in the market big. However, starting off with Matty Ashton of Swinton and Keenan Brand of Widnes. Any ideas who they are? You don't, you're literally... 
Matty Ashton. I've Matty heard Ashton, of him. Swinton player, really good. He's got like he's really good, and he'll be he'll be good in Super League. I don't know where I'm meant to Keenum, watch Championship Rugby by the way without going to these grounds Keenum, because it's not like they're on any TV coverage. Keenum RFL take note. <laughs> Keenum Brand, with Nurse, good young player. Again, they're both young players. They're both just young outside bats, so both yeah. get a bit of game time. Anthony Gelling. I just don't think he's. That. I don't think he's. Is it, he's not, not a top Super League quality player. I think he's. I watched him play mid table. I watched him lower. play three times last year, and the, everyone he was. He, if he'd have gone to Salford, I'd be saying it's a good signing based on who they've lost. Yeah, I don't know. We'll just have to see. But I don't think he's. As but good I think as he, he left Wigan. Wigan for a reason. Yeah. And if Warrington is serious about this being their year, sorry, I had to. <laughs> then. Yeah. This isn't the move that's going to catapult them up to no, the top no it's not they were putting their eggs in that sense in Sammy Kabula Sammy Kabula I mean it's definitely spelled S-A-W-M-Y is it Sammy? it is that's where you just been an idiot yeah well we're used to that by now <laughs> you've already knocked your mic over once but crucially Gareth Widder and we've left him till last for a reason because he's probably the player we're going to talk most in depth good about good signing Maybe a bit Over past the it. Hill. Maybe a bit past it, but I think it's Super League. It'll be fine. It's not going to be another Blake Austin. In that, is that as in he's not going to like? He's not going to be set. coming in and tearing the league up. I no, think but I don't think you need him because they have Blake Austin. You know what I mean? You've got. <laughs> this is going to sound very harsh, and I'm, in terms of ability, yes. In terms of overall impact of a season, is he really going to do a better job than Declan Patton? I think so because I just think he's. I just think yes. That I'm not good. I don't want to argue about this. I think again, yeah. he's a bit like Sean Kenny Dowley. Could spend more time on the treatment table than on the pitch. Potentially, yeah. And after missing a few England games lately, or GB games, whatever we're calling them. Yeah, international then, internationals. Yeah. Right. There are a few question yeah. marks. Who've they let go? Who've they lost? Bryson Goodwin. He Rel- was solid Rel- number Rel- seven. Rel- 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 number seven. No, not number seven. That was Tyrone number Roberts, number three. Number three. Uh, replaced by Gelling, by the sounds of it. Yeah. Downgrade, in my opinion. Yeah, I'd agree. Ryan Atkins, we've talked about earlier. Don't think he'll be a massive loss to Warrington. No. Kevin Brown, well, he missed yeah. all the last season so, anyway, yeah, so yeah. a bit like Luke Gale at Castleford, it's not really worth taking him in. Lama Tassi, or Tassi, I should say. Tassi. Where's he going? Turn that around. Serena. I think, I think that's Rugby Union, is it? Yeah, it will be. That's a big loss to the game, to Super League. Benny Westwood and Harvey Lovett, of course. I'm going to have a look, actually. Who are they? Who does this? Serena. Serena. See who they are. I'm assuming that... Rugby League? It said Rugby League. Put Rugby in. I don't know who this club are. Yeah, it says Rugby League. Are they a second-tier Australian team? Unable to find club. This website <laughs> no longer exists. Oh, that's promising. Queensland. There must be a Queensland yeah, Cup side. Right. Australian yeah, right. reserve grade. Back to all our Australian friends, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> this might happen a lot, by the way. We might not know who some of your second-tier uh, clubs yeah. are. Please do educate us. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, Ben Westwood will be a big presence loss. Yeah, definitely. It's a bit like when they lost Lee Breers, but except he's the water boy that spends 80 minutes on the pitch anyway. Yeah. So. <laughs> Moving on to the grade, then. Uh. B plus. I don't think it's been that great for Warrington. I think they're going to decline this year. Go on then, what are you giving it? C minus. That's a big difference, actually. That's a big swing. Not necessarily to who they've brought in, but more when you think like for like, how the squad's gone. Yeah, I can see that. But I think Gareth Winnett's better than Kevin Brown. But I think Gelling is considerable. I and mean, also, you got to take Brown out of the equation because he wasn't there last year. Yeah, well, then Widdop's just an addition then to the team, isn't it? Maybe so. I don't know. There's Gelling's so many ways down. to look at it. Right, Wigan. Moving on to Wigan. Um, the probably. big man, Jackson Hastings, is where we're probably best starting this Best player this one. in the league last year. Probably going to be best player. Has an NRL league. release clause. Will he even make a full season at Wigan? Or certainly will he have a second is probably the big question. There's already reports that he wanted to move back to Salford. He's gone and rubbished those claims, but... You never know, do They you? do say there's no smoke without fire. True. I don't know how long he'll be at Wigan. I think he'll be good while he's there, and hopefully for their sake of their fans, he'll last the season. 
I think he will. He's not the sort to walk out on a contract. I don't I get that impression we, from him. I think him. we have to look at he, as if he is going to see out the contract. We have to look Certainly at Certainly the if, season. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. I think, and again, he doesn't sign, seem to me as the sort to walk out on a club. No, no, definitely not. Um, in well, terms of who else have brought in, George Burgess. Good signing, good prop. Where have you seen him before? Go on, I'll let oh, you get no, it in. No, no, This just, on, just remind him of the glory years. Where did he used to play? Bradford, but I don't want 15 minutes of this podcast to be <laughs> me mentioning the word Bradford. <laughs> he already is. Mitch Clark coming in from Cass. Pleasure Bradford. There we go. Yeah, good 16 signing. minutes now. Good sign. And I've never heard of this guy, Kai Pierce Paul from London. I'm assuming he was dual regged out to scholars and he's a young, young player. Young, young player, yeah. In terms of who they've lost, Callum Field to Lee. Sounds like young, a youngster young that's player. not really kicked on. Dan Sargent to Salford with, with Spur. Start, George Williams to Canberra. Big loss, but then Hastings. Hastings will fill that void. Definitely. Yeah, I wouldn't be too worried. Kabula we've touched on. And then the others are just loans to Lee. So I think. All in all, what do you think? A minus. I think B. All right. I think they've stayed the same, but, no, but I don't think there's much to improve. Yeah, I can see that. Is that is that? Have we ranked every single club? We are officially now ranked every single club. So we're going to go straight into no break. We're going to go straight into. I've got two trivia questions. For right, that. this can only end well. I'll quickly go over how it's going to work. Is I'm going to say, for example, who in a certain game. Name, can you name the try scorers? And I'll give hints where needed. You'll see how many This can is going to be a game I when, probably wasn't and, even and at. It's just like the how quickly. Not like it's not even like we're not measuring it really. Like how quickly can you do it? We're just going to. It's just a bit of fun and like. And you can play as long at home as well. And see if you can remember. So I've got. Go them. on, man. It's time for right. you to read off. Your so the first one. So we have got. The 2012 Grand Final, oh, Leeds no. Warrington, 26-18. There know. was seven try scorers, four for Leeds, oh, three for Warrington. Hell. Can you name the seven try scorers? So in terms of obvious places to start, Leeds is going to be the back line. Zach Hardacre. No. Who was our winger back in 2012 before Briscoe? Ben Jones Bishop. Yeah, he's one of them. That's one. Ryan Hall. That's two. Callum Watkins. No, he did play though, but did who was the other centre? I'm assuming we had Carl Ablett then in at twelve, and he probably isn't. Is that yeah? Say Carl Ablett. I'll say it. Rather. Yeah, Ablett. That's oh, me. I won't expect that. He was playing centre as well. See, I do really know some of this stuff. One more to get for Leeds, and then you've got Burrow. No, would have been topical if you'd have said twenty eleven. <laughs> Maguire. No. Is it a forward? Contentious. Forward. Simfield. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll give it away. That's yeah. Like, right, Leeds He was probably playing half back on the day, yeah. so maybe no would have been announced because I was probably Yeah, he was playing more, standoff. He was playing standoff. I was expecting thinking more prop second row. That. Warrington. Brett Hodgson. No. Joe Monaghan. Yeah, Joe Monaghan's one. Chris Bridge. No. This Ryan Atkins. Yes. Who he else did Warrington that. have on that other wing? I don't think this was the year of Kevin Penny, was it? No. Kevin Penny was probably the third choice. So who was number... F- Assuming Monaghan was two, who was number five? Or it no, might have been the other Monaghan way around, was Monaghan was five. I'll tell you what, it's not the person you think. It's not number two. Who number was two, their other winger? Chris Riley. Oh, the ginger fella. Where have <laughs> we seen him before? <laughs> go on, you can say it once more. Oh, but yeah, right. Go on, we got He on. played for Bradford. <laughs> right. I think, I'm surprised is I this guess- the year that Michael this is Monaghan what- left? I don't... I think... I don't, I don't know. Forward or back? Back. Is it Lee Breers? No. But you're is close. it the other one? It's not Richie Miler. Yeah, is it? Richie. Oh, for goodness sake. So that's. that's you did that deliberately. No, I haven't. I haven't. Just because it's a big scoreline in the, in the seven. So Helen Skelton scored the last try. <laughs> right, come on. Question number two. I'm impressed so I got two. that. So we're in the. Go- Can you name the top seven Golden Boot? Oh, bloody hell. Winner. Like, you've got a Golden Boot. Is, that, is it Golden Boot? Go- try scorers. Top try scorers of the 2016 season. Oh, so that was the year we were shit. So it were, there probably is one of ours sneaking in, but I'll start off here. 16, who won that year? Was it Saints? Oh, we, we, no, it was yeah, Wigan. Wigan. Wigan against Wigan. So in terms of obvious players for those two clubs, Wigan, Sam Tompkins. No. Oh, had he gone to Catalan? I think he was still at Wigan. 
Are we in the NRL? There is a Wigan player, but on this, the thing I've got is confused because his picture of him is in the new team place. So that's Josh Charnley. Yeah. That was oh, going to be our I next that, guess. I give that away, yeah. Josh Charnley was number two. <laughs> I don't think it was Joe Burgess that year. It was number Brady. two with Josh uh, Charnley. Don Manfredi? No. Is he the other winger? No, no. There's not another Wigan Wigan. Wigan, Wigan okay. Wigan. So I'm assuming there's going to be at least one from Warrington. Potential. So who were Warrington's wingers in 16? Tom Lynham, he had a disappointing first campaign. No. So he won't. We could be out there. this, actually. We could be. I'll tell you. I'll tell Jermaine you. Jermaine McGill, Yeah, he's, he's usually up, Yeah, yeah. He's, up, he's number Hall. four. Ryan Hall's not up there. But he's the Leeds far. player. No, at Leeds player. That doesn't surprise me. I don't know who one of these players. Actually, he'll have been playing for. I'll give you a clue. The ben no- Jones, Bishop. No, number three. I wish I think was playing for Salford at the time, but or Hull KR, which is one of them, but now plays for Catalan. So it's not Todd But no, he yeah. doesn't play for Catalan anymore. He's left and we spoke about him. Oh bloody hell. And, but... and he's signed for Halifax. Jody Broughton. Yeah, that's the But he had Huddersfield that year as well. He might have been I, I it shows me being a Catalan shirt, so I don't know. I can't remember. Um, so you've got two Come on, you're gonna have to give me some clubs here. Who was top? What no club? top witness. Oh, I remember this fella, Corey. This is a one. Thompson, is yeah, it? Yeah, Corey Thompson. The year when Witness was sick. I was sick. thinking of Witness was sick this I, year. I, I thought it was That's 17 that year. 27 tries. Do you know how many charms they got in second? 19. It, it, so I'm going to say it was less than 20. It's like that other year. Ben Jones, Bishop on 20. Greg Eden, 38. Yeah. Right. Okay. So you've got one, two, three, four. Come on then, let's Five Saints. Five Saints. Played for Saints at Tommy the time. Tommy Mick. And said, oh, at the time. Yeah. No, he's, yeah, he's just left this season. Adam Swift? Yeah, Adam Swift. You're looking at six and seven, both play for the same team. That... Neither of them are wingers. Oh, so probably centres. But one of them has left their team this year. Okay, that doesn't really help. But one of them is a regular, I would say, in the England team. Played in, England, in the World Cup for England, and oh. he's a second row. Oh, that's throwing it a bit of a spanner. Regular England second rowers. Regular England second rowers. He were in the squad at the World Cup. He didn't start every game because he's not like Bateman or Whitehead. But he, I don't think he plays for Great Britain. But he's okay, had so injuries. Whitehead was going to be my guess. Actually. He's had injuries. He's had because yeah, Whitehead will play for Catalan, Catalan at the time. Yeah. And he, where did he? Where did he join Catalan from? Bradford. Right. Quickly come react. I don't know. I can't think of the club. Warrington. Warrington second rowers. Ben Curry. Yeah, he's number six, number seven. Really? Warrington, Warrington centre. Ryan Atkins. Yes. Five. There we go. <laughs> That was hard. There man. we go. Right. Hopefully you did a bit better than yeah. me. I'm going to get my own back next <laughs> week. Try yeah. scores in the million pound game. Wakefield, Bradford coming right up just to rub it in. Oh, yeah, I can't wait. Players that got relegated with Bradford. <laughs> I'll just remind you of all the good players you had. Matt Diskin, Heath Lestrange. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, we're going to wrap it up anyway because this has been a long podcast. It has. Hopefully About you've enjoyed hour. this. It's been a bit of fun. We mentioned champions kits. I think that we're probably going to do potentially more of a championship league one theme yeah we did, we did mention we're going to do that as a video but we're changing that to a podcast which we're going to do we're going to have some videos up on the youtube channel based around sort of like we've got one that is the leeds rhinos is it which you the 2011 you? grand final 20, winning side where are they now where are they now same with the huddersfield we're going to look at the leaders. team that won huddersfield the league leader shield we've got seven of the most underwhelming transfers and if you guys any other from ideas, down under have any ideas let us know until next time. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Like, Sub- share, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Yeah, thank you.